nobody outworks me. What's up you guys? Welcome back to YouTube. We are here at Jack Culture. Today is, shit, what's today? September 27th? No, it's the 26th. Sixth, yeah. BQ has a special drop today actually, so that's how I remember the date. Um, we're gonna be getting a chest workout in today. This is the beginning of week four, my bulk, and um, things are going really well. Packing on the size quick, getting stronger, so uh, I haven't taken you guys through a chest workout since I've been back on YouTube, so I wanted to do that today. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite things. Let's go. You guys haven't tried big muscles yet, this stuff's really strong. I usually do one scoop, but today is Monday. I woke up to my little girl screaming all morning, super tired. We gotta get after this workout. I'm gonna double up on the pre-workout today. Two scoops of big muscle. For you first timers to try this, I don't advise you guys to do two scoops. Your skin will be crawling off of you. A little l citrulline for that extra pump. Why not two scoops? This is gonna be like straight jet fuel right here. Exactly what I need on Monday morning to get this workout hyped up. Tell you what, Jared, all this food the past, well, beginning of week four now, so three weeks, my life has consisted of eating, lifting, and pooping. That's it. And farting. <laughs> my wife, I'm lucky she's staying with me because I've gassed her out of the house like three or four times already. <laughs> Gotta make sure I get these shoulders warmed up before any presses. Not a young 20 year old buck anymore. Especially after the pec tear, I gotta make sure I really warm up. Get everything loosened up. I shouldn't take it two scoops. <sighs> My ears are on fire. I gave it to him. My teenage client the other day. He's more of a fair skinned guy. Dude, he turned flush red, like head to toe. It was like a, one of those warhead candies would explode. <laughs> First exercise, you guys, we're gonna do some dumbbell incline. We're gonna ease our way into it. We're gonna do about three warm-up sets and work into about three working sets. We'll try to push a heavier weight as we get into later sets, but uh, make sure you guys warm up real good. Get that chest opened up, your shoulders loosened up. Feel a little warmed up. My IC joint's a little tight right now. It's been tight for the last few weeks, but that's why I've been getting worked on by my uh, soft tissue therapist, chiropractor. It's helped keep that shoulder back to 100%, but feeling pretty strong today. We're gonna go ahead and jump into some heavier weight right now. Push the intensity. So if you guys can take away one tip for your presses on chest, I want you guys to think about your elbow placement. When you guys are doing your pressing motion, let me grab some dumbbells. So what I want you guys to focus on when you guys are doing your presses, keeping your elbows underneath your wrists. You don't want your elbows too far back behind you. You don't want them parallel to your shoulders. Tuck them up, tuck them a little bit, and that's gonna help bulletproof your shoulders and isolate your chest a lot more. So instead of pressing here, and out, bring those, squeeze your shoulder blades down and back, elbows more to 45, wrist underneath your elbow, and press. As you come down, the elbows aren't drawing back, they're coming straight down underneath the wrists. Press. 
You guys will thank me in the long run. Exercise two, we're gonna go into some chest flies. On the machine here, we're gonna isolate. Really get some good blood flow, good contractions, a great mind to mind muscle connection. We're not gonna start off too heavy on this. We're just gonna focus on the range of motion and the pump and the contraction. Control that negative, open that chest up, squeeze that blood in there. So we're in a growing phase right now. I wanna make sure I'm getting the most out of every single one of my sets. I wanna be strong on each and every single one of my sets. So I'm gonna make sure I take adequate amount of rest anywhere between two and three minutes between my sets. When I get closer to prep, I usually speed things up, but we're trying to pack on massage right now. So rest and recovery is, is very important. I can give you guys one tip while doing flies. Just make sure you guys are keeping your upper mid back engaged. You don't, when you're coming back, you don't want to shrug your shoulders or collapse your scapulas back. You don't want, you don't want this motion to happen. You want to stay wide across the top and make the chest do the work. You notice I'm opening up here. I'm not retracting this way. When you retract, you're going to be taking the work off your chest. So make sure you guys keep that chest up and stabilize that, those scapulas. So when you guys peel away, reach out in a way, opening that chest. You don't want to retract those shoulders and bring it back this way. You want to stay wide and open. So try to incorporate that in your next chest day and see how that helps you guys out. Yep. Exercise, you guys. Spit machine flat. Gonna hit a different angle of the chest. We did an incline. We did a flat fly. Now we'll go to a flat press. BCAs and car powder into workout. Super essential, you guys. It's gonna keep you full during your workouts and replenish that glycogen storages that we're burning through our training. If you guys ever notice, you guys are working out, you have a great pump, you're nice and full at the beginning of your workout, and towards the end, you start to flatten out, shrink up, your muscles don't seem as full because you're burning through your glycogen storages. When you're sipping on BCAs and carbs during your workout, you're gonna stay fuller throughout the whole workout, have better pumps, and ultimately have better recovery afterwards too. One more than last set. Last set here, you guys. Four sets. We're gonna slow the tempo down, work on blood flow, good contractions. Let's see how many we can get. Quality over quantity on these. Two. 
two. All right, guys, fourth workout, cable chest flies. We're here, four working sets here. We should be pretty warmed up already. If you're not, you need to get back to your workout earlier and hit it harder. Let's jump right into it. Four strong sets. And we're gonna finish up with a decline exercise. Last set here, you guys, we're gonna slow it down. Work on some tempo work here. Slower contractions, we're gonna have slow down the isometric hole, and slow down the negatives. So it's basically time under tension. Squeeze through, we're gonna flex hard, isolate, open up slowly. Three, we'll go five regular. Slow it back down. Five regular. Last exercise for chest to you guys. We've hit flat, we've hit incline. Now we're getting a decline motion to work with all three planes of the chest. Let's go ahead and jump into it. We're gonna be using this hammer strength decline right here. One of the things you guys, when you guys come back, I see a lot of people shrug their shoulders up again. Stabilize those shoulder blades, bring the elbows back, keep the tension on the chest to bring the weight back. You don't want to shrug up as you bring the weight down. It takes all the tension off the chest. Shoulders down and back, eyes sleep the chest. Set, core tight. Open the chest up. Chin up. Drive through. Two. 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 Last set here, you guys, we're gonna slow things down, do a partial, partial full technique, and really just finish the chest off. Maximize that blood flow. We're gonna go three-quarter tension, full stretch, three-quarter tension, and do a full rep. Two three-quarters, one, two, and do a full squeeze contraction. Partial, partial, full. Partial. Partial, full. Partial, partial, full. Ugh. Partial, partial, all. Partial, partial, all. Oh. All right. Nothing too fancy today for chest. Some simple movements. Efficient movements. We're gonna jump off, jump off and do some uh, triceps now. Just one quick exercise, get some blood flow. Triceps already got a lot of work on the pushing exercises. So we're gonna finish it off with uh, some push downs. Last set, you guys. Not much triceps today. We'll do triceps again later on in the week. I need to get home and eat. My body's metabolizing and burning through this food extremely fast, so I'm starving right now. Definitely need some more food in me. So let's hammer out this last set. Get our post-workout in us. Stop! Stop! Three! Four! So that's a wrap for chest and tries, you guys. Unfortunately, I left my carbs, my post-workout carbs at home, which are my Rice Krispie treats. I need those for my workout to give me that insulin spike before I take in my post-workout protein shake. 
Good thing I live like five minutes away from this gym. We're gonna jet on home, get the carbs in, take the shake, and then we'll call it good for our workout for the day. Typically, you guys, I work out later in the day, usually after three or four meals, especially in my off season. I like to get a lot of food in my body so I'm more fueled up, have more glycogen storages for when I train. You're gonna have a better pump, you're gonna have more strength, and you'll be able to stay full throughout your whole workout. We shot this YouTube for you guys today, so we shot early in the morning. I only had one meal in me, and I felt myself depleting towards the end of the workout. We're gonna do two Rice Krispie treats. It's gonna give me 34 grams of fast-acting carbohydrates. And what that's gonna do is gonna elevate my insulin levels, spike my insulin, and it's actually gonna help metabolize the protein. It's gonna shuttle those proteins into my muscle a lot quicker. So, you guys, it's very important to take in those carbs after your workout, especially if you guys are trying to pack on size. When your insulin increases, it's the strongest natural growth hormone in your body. Your body's gonna synthesize and metabolize the nutrients a lot quicker. So when you guys are trying to grow, this is a good way of helping you guys pack on quick muscle. If you guys are trying to burn fat, keep this in mind. When you guys elevate your insulin levels with simple sugars, your body is not gonna be able to burn fat. So if you guys are trying to cut, think about that. If you guys are trying to burn body fat, probably stay away from simple carbs. If you guys are trying to pack on muscle, start utilizing simple carbs after your workout. So I know a lot of you guys are listening to me right now and are really excited. You're like, oh cool, Jeremy says, I can eat Rice Krispie Treats post-workout and it's gonna help me pack on muscle. Okay, that is the case for some people. If you have higher body fat, okay, if you're not as lean and your body needs to lean out, I don't recommend just packing on simple carbs and sloppy calories. Your body won't utilize them as efficiently. This is for people that are, that are relatively in good shape, that are already needing to pack on muscle, that need the extra calories. If you have a higher body fat, your body is not gonna metabolize this the same. So I definitely suggest getting yourself in shape first, getting into a lean body composition, and then start incorporating foods like this to help with the growth. But if you guys are trying to grow while you're already overweight and have a high body fat percentage, you're more than likely not gonna pack on quality muscle, you're just gonna keep getting fatter. So keep that in mind, make sure you guys understand where you're at, be realistic with yourselves, be honest with yourselves, and um, do the things that are necessary to make yourself better. Most workout consists of two scoops of big muscles, whey iso zero, 56 grams of high quality, fast digesting protein, 34 grams of simple carbohydrates from the Rice Krispie Treat. That's what's gonna help me with my recovery. I'm probably gonna get a meal, another full meal, whole food meal in in about an hour. So that's what it takes you guys post-workout during my growing phase. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like, subscribe, drop a comment below. Thank you for watching you guys.